Okay, welcome to the third in a series of short videos updating students on key recent developments in the UK economy in 2019. In this video, we look at the latest data for inflation and also the key uh, developments in the UK labour market. So this chart shows consumer price inflation for the UK, the annual rate of change of prices. The CPI, the Consumer Prices Index, is the main measure of inflation and it's the measure used for the Bank of England's inflation target of 2%. Notice in 2015, the main fear was of deflation, but those deflation fears dissipated into 2016. Indeed, the post-referendum, the post-Brexit referendum depreciation of sterling helped cause an increase or an acceleration in inflation, uh, in part because, of course, import prices go up when the exchange rate falls. While inflation is now falling back towards target, and indeed the CPI inflation rate was 1.9%, 1.9% in February 2019. So as you head your, towards your exams, inflation is now back in target range. And uh, if we then look at inflation relative to wages, this chart shows the rate of growth of inflation in blue and the rate of change of pay, excluding bonuses, that's shown in orange. Well, it's been up and down both of the times, but there was quite a period of time when inflation was outstripping pay growth, causing people's real incomes in many occupations to fall. Uh, we're now in a situation where pay is starting to accelerate it's now above 3%, inflation now falling back below 2%. So in real terms, people are now people in work, in most jobs, but not all, are getting an increase in their real pay or their real income levels, which will certainly help to sustain consumer spending. Uh, going forward, in the latest inflation report, the Monetary Policy Committee has lowered its forecast for inflation from 1.7% to 1.2% in 2019. They are expecting the economy to weaken, growth is expected to soften, and therefore there will be less demand pull and cost push inflationary pressure in the economy. What about jobs? What about the rate of unemployment? Now here there is some quite significant news as you head towards your exams. But before we do that, here's a multiple choice question. UK unemployment is at the lowest rate since which year? Is it 2007? Is it 1989? Is it 1975? Press the pause button, have a think, and then come back to me with the right answer in a second or two. Well, the UK unemployment rate is currently at its lowest rate since 1975. And this chart helps to explain that. Unemployment's been falling gradually, just over 6% in 2014 down to 4% in the summer of 2018. And the, the key number to go into your revision notes is that in March 2019, the unemployment rate fell below 4%. So that is uh, well below that of France, but it's less than half that of France, although it's actually above that of Germany, which is about 3.5%. So this is a, an important point. There's been a sustained fall in unemployment in recent times, together with rising employment, the labour market has been one of the key positives in terms of the of the macroeconomic performance of the UK. Including in that, there's been a reduction in youth unemployment. Uh, I think there's now something like 550,000 young people unemployed in the UK. Uh, within that number, there are some people who are not in education, not in employment, not in training, and they're called NEETs. And this was a major problem about five, ten years ago, with nearly one-fifth of young people not in employment, um, educational training. That figure has come down. It's still above 10%. It's closer to 11% now, uh, but that figure has come down. So the government is having some success in getting more young people into work. Uh, for example, the apprenticeship schemes have been expanded, uh, getting people into recognised training, or persuading people to um, stay on in full-time education beyond beyond the school leaving age. The employment rate, that's the percentage of people of working age who have a job, be it full-time or part-time, the employment rate has been rising, as you can see from this chart. Follow the blue line, the 
blue line is the sort of aggregate figure for the UK. It's now at a, a record high. Uh, more more men employed now above 80 percent of, of the population of working age. But of course, there's also been a steep increase in female employment. Now, well above 70 percent of women of working age have some kind of job. Loads of reasons for this. The growth of part time employment, the growth of self-employment, the rise of the gig economy might also be helping to explain that the fact there are many more people now in work than there were a decade ago. And the other thing which is heading uh, in, a, in a positive direction, I think, is the percentage of people, again, of working age who are inactive. Uh, inactivity is people who have given up or not able to actively search for work. It could be they're caring for an elderly relative. It could be uh, still in full-time education. But they might have been long-term unemployed. They might have been out of work for at least a year. And effectively, that means they become less employable. Indeed, they may have given up the search for work. The number of people in long-term unemployment is now less than 350,000. And that helps to explain why the economic inactivity rate has fallen from 23.5% now towards 21%. So a significant reduction in activity, although, of course, it remains at a higher level. There we go. There's a quick update on what's been happening to inflation and unemployment in the UK economy.